K.J. Wright, who was Russell Wilson's teammate uh, in Seattle for a long time, offered up his thoughts on the AFC West. He said, I have the Raiders at number one, the Chargers at number two. I got the Chiefs finishing third. I believe the Broncos have some pieces, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to slow down these weapons in this division. It should be noted that K.J. Wright played last season for um, the Las Vegas Raiders. So it's, you know, he has some friends there. He may just be sort of sticking up uh, for his guys. But look, we've talked a lot about this division, how good it's going to be. Uh, someone is going to finish fourth. That's just the, the way it is. Uh, if that's the Broncos, Mike Tannenbaum, what would you think? It's a big disappointment. There's a massive amount of pressure on Russell Wilson. 230 million reasons there's pressure. That's the amount of guaranteed money in Deshaun Watson's contract. And if Russell Wilson plays well and makes a meaningful run in the playoffs, he's going to be in line to get that extension. Remember, he only has one more year left on his contract. If not, he may just be a middle-of-the-pack quarterback. And as Hembo reminded me, Dan, when Peyton Manning went to the Broncos, they improved by five wins in year one. So there is no honeymoon. This is a massively important year for Russell Wilson, not only on the field, but for compelling economic reasons. Yeah, they did give up a lot to get him, so the expectation must be uh, relatively immediate success. Sacho, what does that mean, success for the Broncos this year? Man, I mean, last or second to last. I'm serious. Look at who they play in their division, the L.A. Chargers, <laughs> the Kansas City Chiefs, the wow. newly, new revamped Las Vegas Raiders. I mean, so K.J. in a lot of ways might be right. The Denver Broncos are excited and happy to have Russell Wilson at their quarterback, but they still have to play a team that won the last six, six, I'll say it one more time, the last six division titles in the AFC West, which is the Chiefs. Then you have to play a team that's rising uh, with the Chargers, that has been revamped, that has added offensive weapons, offensive line to protect Justin Herbert, re-signed some of their receivers, gotten better on defense, and then who knows what the Josh McDaniels, uh, Devontae Adams, Derek Carr experiment will look like. It could be epic, and so for me, success is not making the playoffs. Success is winning more games than you did last year. Diana, I mean, am I missing something here? I mean, it's Russell Wilson, right? I mean, making the playoffs is kind of in his DNA. I mean, is it, you buying what these guys are saying about how the, the Broncos could be third or fourth and it still might be a decent year? Yeah, I, I don't think there's a significant amount of pressure. Yes, statistically, we look back at Peyton Manning's first year with Denver and they already improved by five games that season. The honeymoon, there isn't much, as Mike was saying. But I just think already having Russell Wilson there at the quarterback position, a, a, a position they have been searching for for years. They've had, they've had all the different pieces, and they just haven't been able to figure out. Him just being there, his presence, his leadership, everything that he brings, I think is going to put this team in the right direction and point them in the right direction. I mean, He's sitting around watching tape with Peyton Manning. They say they just love enjoying just watching all day long and getting into it. So it's he just sounds rejuvenated. He's passionate again. I really believe, Dan, this is going to be the best version of Russell Wilson we have ever seen. Now, I mean, there is, and Mike T referenced this, and I want to go back to you, Mike. You referenced the contract. He's got two years left on the contract. I think one of the reasons he's not in Seattle anymore is they looked ahead to what he's going to cost, and they made the decision that they weren't going to pay him that. So uh, is this, uh, is this uh, can he be that guy? Can he show the Broncos what he needs to show them to get to that level uh, of top-level quarterback money? Absolutely, and Canley, I'm sure that's what Devers expecting. When you give up all those players and picks, you have to bake that into your equation for future years that, hey, this is a $45 million a year or more player, and we, again, expect him to take us to where we want to go, which hasn't happened since Peyton Manning's been there. And I think the interesting part of the discussion is the bar is so high in that division, but so are the consequences if they can't get there. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.